Hey everyone, Dion here, and today we're going to be taking a look at how to understand the codes commonly found at the end of ROM file names. Looking at the names of ROM files can get a little confusing and initially be a little overwhelming. Basically, the codes at the end of ROM file names give us additional information about the ROM. Codes can tell us the region or country the game was released in, whether or not the ROM is a good clean copy of the original game, or perhaps a fixed or hacked version of the game, or even a version of the game that has been translated from a different language. Understanding the meaning behind these codes is important because it will help you make sure to get the right ROMs for your retro gaming library. Standard codes are the first thing to consider when looking at a ROM file. These codes define the quality of the ROM. A ROM file with an exclamation point in the name means it is a verified good dump of the game, an exact copy of the original game without any hacks or modifications. This is probably the most important code to consider when looking at ROMs. There are also some other standard codes to consider. After the exclamation point, there is A for alternative version, B for bad dump, F for fixed dump, H for hacked, meaning it could have the graphics changed or overhauled, or even gameplay mechanics changed, or it could even be an entirely new game. Uh, o for overdump, P for pirated, T for trained, meaning it has built-in cheats potentially, and exclamation P for pending. The next code to consider is the country code. In many cases, you can use the country code to determine the language that the ROM will be in. The most common English language codes are U for United States, UK for United Kingdom, and W for World. There are quite a few different country codes that could pop up in ROM names, as you can see. Next, we have universal codes. These codes can tell us things like if a game is in PAL or NTSC format, which can affect how the game is displayed. These codes can also tell us things like if a game came out multiple times with updates, there may be a revision 0 and a revision 1 and so on. Maybe the game is a prototype that was never released to the public. We have revision version, multi-language translation info, alpha or beta version, prototype, hack, we discussed that earlier, and it could show up either way, uh, menu for those multiple game cartridges, uh, BIOS, which is an important one if you ever want to get into arcade ROMs and ROMs from a lot of the CD-based consoles, uh, release year, and so on. And finally, we have translation codes. These codes will tell us what language the ROM is in using a three-digit abbreviation of the language if the ROM has been translated into another language. These codes are pretty straightforward. There are other codes, but most are system-specific. I've added a link in the description that can take you to a page with more info about codes that you may come across looking at ROM names. Anyway, I hope that helps with picking through ROM files and making sure you can find the ones you're looking for. And that's ROM Names Explained. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, it would be awesome if you hit like below. And if you'd like to see more content like this, please subscribe, and I hope to see you again soon.